So, this is what you get when you get a Yorkie. They're a lot more rough and tumble than they look, as you can tell by this little character here. He's quite the little man beast. So Ted's, Ted's a professional hunter. Um, I think that uh, most people think when they get a Yorkie that they're going to get a, uh, a little foo-foo, bow-in-the-hair kind of dog that's going to sit on their lap all the time and do all sorts of fun things with it, like bring it to Walmart or whatever. He's not a going to Walmart and a foo-foo hair bun thing. Ted's a mountain dog, and because that's pretty much the way that we brought him up. We just let him go up on the hill here wherever he feels like going up here. I just have to be here with him now because I got out of work and felt like taking a walk with him. But I did want to show people that a dog is a product of its, <laughs> of its environment. And in this case, this guy's environment is the forest. He's, uh, he'll take on pretty much anything that he can, he can get. And doesn't mind getting himself into, uh, precarious spots, as you've probably seen in several of my other videos. But I definitely want to say that, uh, as far as dogs go, if, if you're looking for something that's going to be a little foo foo sit on your lap dog, they can be that. But they can also be a fierce hunting dog that will not stop until it kills something. And that's pretty much what this guy's turned himself into. Because <laughs> we sort of... His environment was no environment at all. We just let him do whatever he felt like doing. Pretty much like our other dog. Who's way down there somewhere. Our house is down through the woods. There's like another a little plateau down there. And then you cross the river. I think the other dog is down there somewhere. I really don't know. Sometimes he doesn't feel like coming all the way up the hill. So what he'll do is he'll come halfway up the hill. He'll just stop and he'll sit down and he'll wait for us to come back. It could be like an hour later, he's still there. That's uh, just how Toby rolls. Toby's an older dog. He's 10 years old now and he really doesn't, uh, he doesn't feel like doing this kind of stuff anymore. I mean, he was never as much of a hunter as, as Ted is, but that, that was never really Toby's thing. Right, Ted? Ted? Nothing, man. Just wanted to see if you could actually react to me. I was curious. A lot of times when I'm in the woods with him, I feel like I'm by myself, which is probably why I talk to myself so much. Anyways, that's it. Just want to say, a Yorkie is what you make him. Where he makes himself. Now we were way up there. Came down through the woods this way. Down through this open clearing. Hey man. Oh sorry. That's not super dignified. What I actually just wanted to point out. Was not Ted crapping in the woods. But it was his brother hanging out. Hey Tobes. How you doing buddy? Toby will ha hang out and wait for you as long as he, as long as he's got light, I guess. I don't know. He seems to be uh, preoccupied with a stick. Not going to pick it up and carry it. I think he thinks it's attacking him. He's a strange little dog. 